So crossplay continues to be a hot topic in the Warzone and Modern Warfare communities, uh, largely because PC players complain about aim assist on console, and console players complain about PC players having advantages like frame rate, field of view, cheating, which is obviously a serious issue, um, and as well as keyboard and mouse. And that's what we're going to talk about here because with that one, I just want to make a video pointing out that's not specifically a console versus PC topic um, because both consoles natively support keyboard and mouse in this game. And it's actually really good. I've played around with it quite a bit and I'm very impressed <laughs> with the way it plays. Uh, I had to tweak a few things, which I'm going to show my settings in here for you because with the field of view being so much narrower on console, it just didn't feel right with the exact same settings. Uh, so hopefully this video is useful for someone out there uh, working through these same issues. Uh, obviously, if you play on a TV and chilling on a couch, a controller is probably the right choice for you. But if you like keyboard and mouse and you have an opportunity to play at a desk, I definitely suggest hooking up a keyboard and mouse and trying it out because it makes for a very PC like experience. And I just like sitting in front of like I, do, I like doing my gaming at a desk. I just prefer it. So we'll look at like how I get that done with these settings. Uh, side note, uh, for years, people have used devices like the Zim Apex on consoles to have keyboard and mouse on console because it just wasn't possible. With Modern Warfare and Warzone, since it's built in, if you're still doing that, you're kind of a dick. Uh, you're only doing it to get aim assist, and you, if you need that, you're bad. End of story. So let's talk about my PC setup first. I use a uh, Razer Basilisk wireless gaming mouse set to 1800 DPI. Uh, so let's check out my settings on PC first so you get the baseline there. If you also play on PC and run set settings similar to this, it's possible your preferred settings on console could be pretty similar. Uh, so you can see my general um, control settings here to compare. And then these four, I, I don't touch on any of the systems. But, okay, so there I am on PC. Let's go ahead and uh, let's flip over to the PlayStation Blue colors here. And let's check out... Uh, my settings over there. All right, so here on PS4, uh, one of the nice things right away is this menu mouse sensitivity. Um, with my default settings, the menus were very slow. And like when I was figuring all this out, my at higher mouse sensitivity, higher than the 1800 DPI I'm running, your mouse would be all over. And that isn't a huge deal in the menus, but when you're in game, you need the menus on keyboard and mouse sometimes. Like when you're buying a teammate back or, you know, you'll end up making mistakes or spending too much time trying to hit the right spot. Um, so it's a really nice option on PS4 here for menu mouse sensitivity. Um, and you can see I'm running half the overall sensitivity that I ran on PC at 6. These all remained 1. Aim down sights, this is where things get a bit different. I was running 0.8 on PC, and I still thought 0.8 was okay on PS4. But uh, with the narrower field of view, I felt like my camera was just whipping around a little too fast. Um, and then monitor co distance coefficient. I've played around with this a bit. I honestly don't see a big change as I adjust this one way or the other. Uh, if you experience different, more power to you. Uh, play around. Let me know uh, if I'm being a complete idiot. And hit hit me up in the comments. Tell me, no, you're so stupid. <laughs> Try X. Uh, let me know, please. And then, like I mentioned, these remain unchanged. Another thing to make sure... Uh, in case you get confused, is you need to go to the general tab and choose keyboard and mouse. You cannot change this in game. So if you get into a game and you have controller selected, you won't be able to switch to keyboard and mouse after that uh, and vice versa. So make sure you have it set the way you want to play. Another thing to note is that if you have your Activision accounts linked, changing it on here on your console is not going to change it on your PC or vice versa. You probably don't play on both, but if you do, like I do sometimes, um, you don't have to worry about that. One other PS4 specific thing uh, is that PS4 is able to disable crossplay. There's something on the screen you shouldn't see. I don't see anything necessarily. Um, anyways, so you could disable crossplay and only play against PS4 players if you wanted to. And you'd be one of the only people playing on keyboard and mouse. So that would be kind of a cheap way to try and get an advantage. Um, but I have tested this. If you're queuing with crossplay off, the, the queue times are going to take forever. Because there's way fewer people specifically playing. But you could then queue against only PS4 players. And the vast majority of them are not going to be running keyboard and mouse. 
So if you're looking to cheat up that advantage a bit, this would be one way to do it. I suggest don't. So this is going to keep popping up. You have to keep saying no because it's like, I can't find you a game. Just don't worry about it. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. All right. So that has everything you need to know for the PS4, in my opinion. Um, we're going to flop over to the Xbox, uh, which is going to be mostly the same, but there's a little bit different way that they do a couple things. As you can see, all of these settings are exactly the same as they were on the PS4. Uh, the big difference being that there is no menu sensitivity button on the Xbox. And that is because it's handled in the Xbox settings itself. So if you go to your settings on your Xbox, you will find under devices and streaming, there's a mouse section. I have mine put at five. That's again with 1800 DPI on my mouse. Um, by default, it's all the way fast and it's it's it really flies around the menus and makes it difficult to use. So you'll have to play with that and figure out what you like the best. Uh, the other big thing on Xbox is that you cannot turn off crossplay within Warzone. But you will not be able to get into a Warzone game with crossplay disabled. Whereas on PS4, you are able to. And that's the only console that is that's the only system PC. Xbox cannot do it. Only PS4 can go without crossplay. So there you have it. That's basically what you need to know to run keyboard and mouse on console. Um, once again, if you're still using a Zim Apex to use keyboard and mouse on console, you're bad and you should feel bad. Just quit. Like, <laughs> plug the keyboard and mouse into the controller. It's built into the game. Stop cheating. Other than that, <laughs> leave some comments what you guys think. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next video or in the live stream on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash the direwolf every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday night, 9 p.m. Central. Peace.